Hello everybody, this is Michael Hart. Today I was going to talk about uh, whether you should date an NF or not. This is an intuitive feeling type. Okay, this, was a, this would include ENFJs, INFJs, ENFPs, and INFPs. Oh, so you probably already know that, but maybe there's some beginners out there, I don't know. Anyway, so the thing is about intuitive feeling types is they don't want, they have no interest in shallow relationships. Um, they want their relationships to be very deep and meaningful and they will quickly tire of relationships that aren't and leave, leave the relationship. Um, they also tend to be very idealistic, especially the NFJs can be like, uh, if the relationship, it, as soon as they find out the person isn't perfect, they'll break up with them. Not all NFJs are like that, but eh, it's a pretty common thing. Um, they're very idealistic. They have this like perfect type that they think they should, they, they want to be with, which nothing wrong with that. I'm pretty selective myself. But I, I definitely think I'm more, once I do decide on someone, I'm more loyal. I will actually like stick with the person just because I've chosen them, almost. In the past, sometimes a little too much. But anyway. Yeah. Also, NFs have a tendency to fall in and out of love easily. It's just how they work. Um, the combination of intuition and feeling. They, uh, they just have this tendency. And also, because they are such social and personal creatures, um, they, they really like to talk to people and get to know, to know people. And um, If you're a more jealous type, I would say maybe an NF isn't right for you because they tend to develop crushes very easily because of this, because they're so, they're so personal... Like, NFs don't, literally don't understand the meaning of a, of, they literally can't not be personal. Does that make sense? Like, that's why sometimes in management roles, NFs can have a problem where if they have a ton of subordinates, they literally try to be personal with every single one of them. And that can be, sometimes that's not even possible. And that can be kind of a very, actually very draining for them. So anyway, tangent. They can't not be personal. And this is one of the reasons they develop crushes easily. It's because they have deep, meaningful conversations with a lot of different people. So anyway, so yeah, if I, I'd say if you're a more jealous type, it may be not the best pick for you. Okay? And uh, obviously there's some strengths though. A lot of strengths with NFs. Uh, they tend to go very well with NTs. But yeah, um, those are a couple things to, to look out for. And yeah, short video, but these are a couple tips uh, on you know whether you should date an NF or not. Thanks for watching, guys.